Hey YouTube world, I am back with another video and today is exciting because holiday shopping is upon us. And this is going to be a video that is not focused on luxury bags. I did a number of videos on that recently talking about how you can purchase pre-loved if you don't wanna go the new route. Um, on getting really unique pieces directly from the Japanese vintage market. So go check out that video if I haven't done so already, because there's a lot of great gems. And of course you wanna get started early because when you're going down the pre-love route, it is going to be a journey. You won't find, you wanna spend time looking for the right piece at the right price that you are happy with. So the purpose of my holiday gift guide uh, is going to be a really curated, selection and things that you probably haven't seen before. I know there's a lot of videos out there giving you gift ideas. Mine, I aim for picking out the different pieces that are a little bit different or just different alternative options to the typical, you know, pieces that is really popular and everybody's talking about it. Everybody's fighting over it, right? And do stay tuned for the entire video because I will be announcing the winner of my one year anniversary giveaway. And it's going to be this Longchamp small Le Pilage. Le Pilage, if I can say it correctly. A uh, little bag that, you know, it's going to be a really cute addition to your bag. So again, I am so grateful for all of you that have joined me and subscribed to my channel over this past year. And I'm over 1500 subscribers. I am so grateful. So I wanna give back to all of you. So stay tuned for the winner. And of course I will be doing more giveaways throughout the year. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so, but let's kind of just get right into it. All right, so the first one is going to be very controversial. You guys are gonna get mad at me, but I am not a big fan of the Chanel gift set, the little camera bag that's super sparkly. Hate me if you will, but I just, that doesn't appeal to me, right? all of the different hacks and all of the different variations. If you like it, by all means, it's your money, go for it. But personally, if I were the gift receiver, I'm just like, <sighs> it's cute. And you know how I feel about camera bags. I do not like camera bags. So that's obviously very personal um, preference here, but I don't wanna be wearing the same bag as 50 other girls or 100 other girls that are out there. So again, that's my two cents, but instead, what I suggest that I think is really cute and really unique since they are available. And I know for back for Black Friday, there are a lot of gift deals by 200, get 20% off, et cetera, et cetera. So definitely check out um, just by Googling the name so that you can get the best deal. And of course, if you haven't signed up for Rakuten, what are you living under a rock? <laughs> I know my boyfriend is, he, he doesn't use Rakuten. If you sign up and take a look at Rakuten, some of these places like Bergdorf, which I'm gonna feature a lot of, is doing 15% cash back. Some of them, I think Saks was doing like six or 10%, stuff like that. So definitely use Rakuten and I'll leave a link down below so that you can uh, get a referral credit, et cetera. And then of course, save 15%. Maybe I should show you how much I've got in my lifetime. I'll do a screenshot of the lifetime cash back I've got from Rakuten. It's impressive and really, like I was having, <laughs> I was having a competition because my brother sent me Rakuten. I'm like, dude, I am way ahead of you. He showed me a screenshot of how much he had. It was like $500. And then mine was just like uh, $2,000. He's like, oh, that means you spend a lot of money. If you're going to spend the money, you might as well get some cash back on it, right? Okay, so got distracted there. Let's go back to what I was talking about. So the gift set I think is a really good option is the Balmain hair care set. If you haven't seen this before, I think it's a great option, right? Everybody has hair. Well, most people have hair, <laughs> you know, definitely something that you can consider just because um, the pouch, this one, the Balmain Paris Hair Couture from Netta Porter, super cute. You can use that as a cosmetic pouch and with a B on top of it, it's something different, right? And another one I also saw was from their website directly. It's their signature pouch. It goes for $270. It's a little pricey, yes, but it comes with a really cool bag, right? That you can use as a toiletry bag or if you wanna use it as like a clutch. And I think this works for men as well. Um, it also comes with a really cute hair clip. So it's not just like, hey, uh, it only comes with a bag, right? My favorite one. And Saks is doing a 10% uh, cash back on Rakuten for, for this particular set, set as well, $220. Look at the little gold, 
gold little uh, circular bag and it comes with a little strap so I think you can use it as a wristlet which I'm sure if you take a look at it there's all kinds of different hacks that you can do with this and it comes with a little mirror so I think this is a much better bang for your buck if you ask me especially the whole mirror um trend mirror bags trend this is super on point so definitely consider this one as well the next one I want to go over is a men's option so this is I found this on Bergdorf again this is going to be 15% on cash back on Rakuten this Creed um I guess set comes with eight different little sample bottles so if you know fragrance is so personal right so if you want to buy a particular, you know, Creed. I think they go for like, what, three, four hundred dollars. That's a lot of money, right? So if they don't like the smell, then you're kind of SOL on that, right? So if you get this particular set of eight different fragrances, they can test it out. And in the future, if they want to purchase the full size bottle, they can they can go purchase it themselves. But this is a really good bang for your buck as well, just because it comes in a really nice wallet right so once you're done with those travel sizes or you just want to take them out and put it in your you know vanity or, or uh, you know for the guys they'll I don't know put it in their travel pouches or whatever they can use actual Creed um wallet and you know use it like so basically it's a Safiano black leather wallet so it's real leather with suede inside we're sleeping on this I can't believe this is still in stock and Again, with Bergdorf, they're doing a sale on beauty, regular price beauty, $50 off of $250. Now, this one is $195, so you might want to add something else to that, which I'll give you a couple different options. But they were doing, you know, the more you spend, the more you get off. And this one is for $195. I think that's a great option. If you go out and buy a regular wallet, that's at least $200. So you're getting fragrances along with a wallet. So that's a great option. Dyson hair wrap is really popular and it costs you an arm and a leg, right? If you, I think they retail for $650 and then if they go on sale, it's like $450. That's still a lot of money, right? So personally, I have a Dyson hair dryer and that is, I love it. I am diehard a Dyson fan. So for an other option, right? So I have my place in Nashville and I didn't want to spend more money on a Dyson, like bring it back and forth, etc. So I found a different option, which is with Shark. This one, the hairdryer comes with two different attachments. And again, I'll link everything down below. Amazon's doing a deal for Black Friday at $130. And I do think that these go on sale every now and then. So you can definitely still pay around that range. Again, at the time of filming this video, I'm listing out the prices. So the prices could fluctuate a little bit. So for $130 versus a Dyson uh, hair dryer, I think it's like $350, right? And then there's also the air wrap. So Shark's versions of air wrap. And that goes for $300. And I think they're doing a $60 off coupon. So again, $450, $600. Or do you want to spend $250 on a hair wrap? Now, obviously, do your own research and go check out the reviews on YouTube. I personally have said hardcore Dyson fan, and they will always be superior. Not going to lie, Shark is not as good as Dyson. But it also comes with a premium price tag, right? So if you want something that works, you know, let's just say 80% as good as the Dyson, for more than 50% off, I think that's a no brainer. So that's an option as well. So definitely get on that deal while there are. Now moving on to candles, right? I know like getting the Dior candle, the um, Diptyque candles and all of that is super popular. And personally, I love candles. They're gorgeous to look at. I just got a Dior set for my friend for my birthday. It smells amazing. But over the years, this is again, my personal preference, right? I personally like diffusers better. I, <laughs> we've gotten candles. My boyfriend loves candles as well. Of course, his ass decided to leave it on overnight as he passed out on the couch. One thing is a fire hazard. And number two, no matter how expensive or how cheap the candles are, when you blow it out, there's no avoiding the smell of extinguished fire on a wick, right? And that just makes my whole smell. And I do not like that smell. Yes, you're supposed to trim the wick and then there's less like the... I guess, black flames or whatever you call it. And it, when you blow it out, it just smells terrible. And there's a lot of finicky things that you have to do with it so that you don't get the ring around it. So you're supposed to burn a brand new candle for at least two hours so that it, you know, burns evenly and the wax melts evenly. So that's a whole other issue. So what I have come to terms that I really like diffusers. It's not as overpowering. It's not a fire hazard. 
And there are a lot of options out there, right? Obviously, you can go for the diptyque route or other diffusers that are really pretty and really popular. Personally, I came across the Tom Dixon diffuser. So I actually got this one. It's not opened yet, but again, I'll show you screenshots of it. This one costs $170, if I can show you the right side. And this is the one from Saks Fifth Avenue, and it is gorgeous. I also, the trick is, just so you know, not to, again, go on a tangent here, it comes with the actual vessel of the diffuser, and then it comes in a plastic bottle with a screw cap on it. What I do is pour half of it in, and then, of course, if you're going traveling, if you're going to be out of your house for a while, or maybe you're just kind of sick of it, right? Make sure you keep that refill bottle and dump it back in there and seal it if you're going away for two or three weeks. If you aren't, just, you know, again, just dump the whole thing in, but I usually like to pour half of it. And these are reusable. So once the actual fragrance have evaporated, you can fill it with something else like a refill. You can get creative. You can start buying the teak ones and still use this vessel because it is a gorgeous one and it's very unique. All right, just going down my list here. So. You know, if you haven't seen the video, I did do an unboxing for my Hermes cup, and obviously it is a gorgeous cup, right? So this one is really pretty, but if you feel like Hermes is not your vibes and you still want to buy one for yourself or as a gift, I think these are some great options. Again, you get 15% cash back on Bergdorf right now. The Missoni one is $128, so it's a little bit cheaper than the Hermes one, and it's still very classy and it comes with a nice box so i think that's a really good option the jonathan atler there's two different options there's the box arcade multi-glass set where you get four of them for 135 dollars and i love that print of it it's super cute pro tip anytime any product says imported that probably means that it's from china so if that's something you care about personally i don't really care it, it looks really pretty and i would totally buy this the other one is a box arcade mug so there's the glass set and then there is the box set of the mug so super cute i think that's a great option as well now if you want a little bit of flair something that is very in your face and very flashy i'm 100 percent down on that i've got a couple of versace um, belts myself but the versace has a home line did you guys know that because i didn't and i was looking at some of this like the jardin le jardin mug that's really cute they also have the medusa mug that's awesome too they are kind of on the same price range as Hermes. So depending on what your style is and if you want to spend that kind of money, but it's just polar opposites when it comes to the vibe, right? Another great option is the George Jensen. I know they're a jewelry maker, but they do have a home good line as well. So if you haven't noticed, a lot of these items that I you know, are talk am talking about is going to be things I received as a gift. And that's why, you know, people have done well. My friends have done well and they know me very well. So they've given me gifts that I really love. And now I'm sharing it with you. So this is the George Jensen coaster set and it comes in a set of four. So Neiman Marcus is selling them for $99. I need to start using this, but you see how it comes with like the silver outside and then it comes with the leather pieces. The stitching is amazing. And I love how coast these kind of coasters are large enough so that if you want to use big mugs or if you want to have, um, you know, a beverage with whiskey glass that's a little bit bigger, it's enough to cover it and not hang over and, of course, tip it over. The other thing my friend got me, she decided I needed to start a George Jensen collection here. <laughs> but I, I love her for it. So this needs to be washed. It's been sitting in storage for a little bit. Just ignore that. It looks a little filmy, but it's supposed to be clear. But you can see this is a water pitcher and it says George Jensen Denmark on there. And this is, again, multi-use, right? You can use it probably for wine. I don't know anything about wine. Wine enthusiasts, enthusiasts are probably yelling at me saying, no, it's the airflow, whatever. But just use it for whatever you want, right? So uh, this is designed to be a water pitcher. And again, it looks really sleek and it looks amazing. I think this is very classy, quiet luxury, so to speak, right? Okay, I'm almost done here with my home goods stuff. I just feel like home, home goods or home decor is not like it's a lot more widely accepted. People will purchase things for you if it's like a piece of clothing, a bag or shoes like uh, uh, it's not my style. I'm not going to wear it, right? Whereas home decor, it's easier to kind of just like accept into your home even though sometimes it might not be your vibe but at least it's not on you so that it creates like a 
like I don't want to wear it right? kind of like your mom buys you a I don't know pair of shoes that you hate then you don't you're never gonna wear it right all right so the next thing is actually super practical it's not like pretty or anything but this is incredibly practical so I'm a one glass drinker sometimes especially if I do drink during the week like I just want to have one glass of wine right and then you open the biggest problem is like I open one there's one sitting in my fridge right now where we had two glasses of wine between me and my friend and then we pass out on the couch <laughs> so this Coravin wine system is amazing so obviously I don't science I'm going to explain this horribly but definitely go look reviews on YouTube and they will tell you exactly how the science works so this contraption here is basically, it comes with like a super thin needle. And what you do is clamp it onto the wine bottle that you are looking to drink. You stick the, you stick the needle in there. Sounds kind of weird, but you stick the needle through the cork and it pumps like a gas into the bottle so that it keeps it fresh. And you know how when you open a bottle of wine, it oxidizes, right? And immediately oxidizes. So it pumps like some sort of nitrogen gas. I don't know. Put it, it replaces it with like the actual air. And then it basically squirts out a glass of wine or however much you want to drink and keeps the bottle fresh like it never has been opened before. What a genius uh, science, right? What's a, a technology? So I think this is a great option. They come in a couple different like, sets so obviously if you want to just try it out it goes for like 120 dollars or whatever i think this is a great option for people who drink wine but they're not whole bottle wine drinkers at a time which is usually me and it works for red wine it works for rosé works for white wine there's different models so definitely do your research on it but i think this is a great gift for the uh, that's kind of luxury but then it's also saving you money if you think about it <laughs> oh i totally forgot to talk about this diffuser so if you don't want like the traditional diffuser and you want something that's a little bit more kind of a humidifier as well i'm butchering names as i usually do but this is a great option and it's not your traditional humidifier or diffuser that looks kind of plasticky this is like a terracotta material and it is great. You can set it to different, you know, settings, eight hours or four hours, and it just shoots out a little stream. And I have this, I have multiple of these, and I have the portable one. I also have this one. This is more of an art piece, right? And it's on Amazon right now for $89. And what I do is take essential oil. So I got this one from Aroma. And again, I'll link everything down below for you under, um, I got it from Amazon. And I love the Le Labo Centel 33 smell. And this is basically a dupe of it in essential oil. So I just drop like three or four drops into this diffuser and it makes my whole house smell like Le Labo. It's basically, you're walking like into a hotel. It's great. My parent, my friends come over they're like, ooh, what is that smell? Did you just like do a massive amount of spray of Centel 33 in your house? Like, no, I don't have money for that. That bottle is like two or $300. So no, this is what I do. Definitely a great option as a gift. This is something I got recently for my birthday. My friend found this and she knows I do YouTube and I love purses and that's the, you know, focus on my channel. And she also knows I love home decor. So when she found this, I was like, oh my goodness, <clears throat> I'm going to feature this on my video as gift guides. And this is perfect, right? It, obviously this is not luxury or anything, but look at this. This is a mug in the shape of a purse. And it also comes with a little teaspoon as well as a tray. So this is a great option that, you know, if you don't wanna spend $200 on your friends and you know they love purses, they're going to love this. And they come in multiple different colors. So I love thoughtful gifts. Like for me, gift giving is the thoughtfulness. Obviously that takes work, right? So I appreciate that. And it's not about the dollar amount. So she's like, oh, it's a cheapy, cheapy, you know, it's like, no, this is the, the thought process and the, the care that you take notice of what my interests are and getting something super cute and cool like this. That's what matters to me. One more thing that I think is a great option, especially if you're a luxury lover, books are well, decor books are always a great option. So I purchased this one. I actually got three. I only have two in front of me right now. But I got this Louis Vuitton one from, I think, TJ Maxx or Home Goods. If you need it, obviously, in a hurry, then buy it from Amazon. They're still a great deal. But if you go scour Home Goods or TJ Maxx, sometimes you'll be able to find one of these for like $30, $40 off. And I think I got this one for like $60. This gives you a lot of the different history 
Um, if you want, just flip it open and put it on a coffee table as decor. You can read about it as you're drinking your morning coffee. And look at this. It's just a gorgeous bag, <laughs> a gorgeous trunk that you can see and just, you know, get really nerdy about the history of Louis Vuitton and appreciate what they have to offer, right? So this is a really nice piece. And if you don't want, I actually have this set behind my, as like part of my Zoom background and people ask me, hey, is that real? It's like, no, this is my actual background. So I have this set like this, except I don't like the flashy Louis Vuitton um, book spine. So what I do is take the cover off and it looks really nice like this. And then you can see it says Louis Vuitton like that. And it's just, I put stuff on top of it and it's got the LV logo at the front of it. So it's just a really nice decor piece. Now, the other one I got is the typical, like every home YouTube channel, or like if you see the, the spacing and how they show um, the living rooms, this one is what you usually see, which is the Architectural Digest 100 Years in Your Home. And this is another really gorgeous book that you can just put out as decor. And I'll show you how I styled it for my, <laughs> the painting I did, oh my goodness. My boyfriend calls it the sperm painting, <laughs> but I'll, I'll let you look at that. But that's not the point. I, I did that painting. It's a DIY project. So at some point I might replace that. But as of for now, I think that it fits really well with my, my home decor. But this is another great one where you could just put it like this and, you know, put stuff on top of it. And again, this one I got from, I think, also home goods for like $40. So those, if you're looking for these specific pieces, you got to keep checking their website. You got to show up to their store. But again, if you need something quickly, obviously you can get it from Amazon and I'm sure they go on sale all the time. Let's do the giveaway. And if you haven't liked and subscribed this video, please do so. I do go over a lot of deals, a lot of indie bag brands, um, just really relevant information that we are all doing research about. And I try to cover a lot of the pricing so that you can get the best deal and always hopefully less than retail. But let's do the drawing. So congratulations to Jenny who won this bag. Long shop, that is. So I'll get this out to you as soon as possible. If you can reach out to me via Instagram, what I'm going to do for safety precautions. Now, obviously, there's a lot of scammers out there. I'm nobody. I'm a me, an amoeba of a channel, so I won't expect a lot of scammers happening. But just as a precaution, what I'm going to ask you to do, Jenny, is if you can reach out to me via Instagram, DM me, and then go ahead. I will give you a secret code word. Edit your original comment and put that code word in there. So that way I know it's you. Reach out to me as soon as possible. If you don't respond to me within 48 hours of this posting of this video, I'm going to pick the next winner just to be fair. So congratulations. And I appreciate everybody's support. I will be doing more giveaways as gratitude for all of my viewers and subscribers. And of course, like I said, in my um, outtakes of a YouTube video celebrating my one year, I did say you guys are my bosses technically, right? So tell me what you want to see. Tell me what questions you have. And I'm more than happy to make those videos for you. So again, congratulations. I've got another great gift idea for you. So this is something I bought for myself because I thought it was adorable. And of course, Instagram got to me per usual. And this is OK, so quick story time. I love Snoopy, which is funny. Actually, it's I'm like a byproduct of what my mom likes. She loved Snoopy and she loves animals as well. We never really watched Peanuts growing up, but I watched more Garfield <laughs> and Scooby-Doo and all of that. And I actually named one of my golden retrievers, not one of, the only golden retriever I ever had. His name was Odie because I love Garfield. But I really liked Snoopy growing up because my mom would buy me a lot of Snoopy things. Resonated with me really well. And this is from a company called Crudo. I think they're based in Hong Kong. And this comes in a really nice, look at this. Isn't that adorable? Woodstock and Snoopy, so cute. And I think Crudo does a lot of collaborations. <clears throat> so if there's one that resonated with you, you know, definitely check them out. I think they also did a collaboration with Little Prince if you're a fan of that. So it comes in a really nice box here. And this is what I got. So it, you know how I love my Hermes wrap, double wrap bracelet? This one is very similar to that, but a different flair to it. So look at this, you can see it's got the little Snoopy. Oh my goodness, isn't that cute? And then I was able to customize it with my initial, right? 
And you can also further customize it. If you can't see this, I'll make sure to do screenshot, but I customize it with Toby and QQ and they actually had a little dog that looks like a Corgi that I was able to customize it with. So how you use this uh, wrap bracelet is you open it like this. It's a magnet that just hooks in right there and you can double wrap it. You know what, let me just put it on. Okay, so you see how it hooks on really quickly. And then of course, this one, I think it's super pretty. It is the mother of pearl. There are other options. There's like the lobster claw and whatnot. And this one's a little big on me. I think I just, I didn't do measurements like I always don't. <laughs> and I picked one that's a little bit too big, but I don't mind it because it is, you know, more flexibility. There's a little bit more range and not just like, usually when I buy bracelets, it's too small. So this is a good problem but make sure you do your measurements because I can't return this because it has been customized. So I think this is a great option if you don't want to spend, you know, $400 on a bracelet as a gift. Just keep in mind, if you are going to get this customized, like putting somebody's name on there or initials on there, do it as soon as you can because it did take about two to three weeks for it to arrive to my house. Okay, so another great option, and you've seen me wear this before, my friend got this customized for me. So the, as a pet lover, and I've got two, you know, little troublemaker of corgis, she was able to get the pictures from their Instagram page, Toby Bull, Q Bullies Toby, if you want to give them follow and see their horrible shenanigans. She got this customized for me and it's just a nice sweatshirt. So that's a really good idea. I know a lot of the, a lot of the companies, um, there are a lot of companies that do this. So definitely take your pick. But this one is with the Gildian sweatshirt, which I think is super high quality. And this is just adorable and it's a great gift option. So two more things that I don't have and it's kind of on my wish list, and I thought about that. So one of them is an LED mask, right, for women. Uh, of course, skincare is always a great option. I thought about doing a skincare empties and skincare haul for you guys. Let me know if you have interest. And I know that's kind of ironic since I don't show my entire face, but I had horrible mask knee. And again, you've heard my story on how I started going down a rabbit hole in YouTube. And I figured, you know, if you care about skincare, I think I've got my regimen down to a T. If you care about that and my recommendations, just let me know in the comment sections. I am more than do, happy to do a skincare empties or a skincare recommendation that I don't shop at Sephora. I literally do not shop at Sephora because it is so overpriced. But let me know. I will be happy to do uh, some skincare uh, recommendations for you infrared led mask and i've seen a couple of them so if you and they're going on black friday sale so i might consider it but i think that could be a really good option if you want to give a more neutral kind of gift for your friends that is not going to be style related or personal related they are expensive so just keep that in mind the last thing i want to mention is going to be this tote that i found on instagram and i think supporting small businesses is always a great idea and this tote bag resonates with me so much if you haven't like figured it out yes i'm asian i love eating asian food and i love cooking asian food so this <clears throat> particular tote seems really high quality and it's just a water painting or water color painting whatever you want to call it of all of the asian sauces that we all use who you know it ventures into the asian cooking or, or chinese cooking or whatever so i thought that was a really cute option if you are interested in that so that wraps it up and i hope it wasn't a long-winded video and i hope you enjoyed it and got some really good inspiration again this is just the concept not like you have to buy this particular item because it's cool but it's an idea where you can start browsing for a different you know options that are out there that is not super mainstream so to speak but i hope you really enjoyed it come back for more like and subscribe if you haven't done so already life is hard i want to help you save time and money so that you can somehow adult easier and hopefully less than retail happy holidays i'll be coming out with more videos and i'll see you next time